Hey, welcome back. My, this video is about adding some climbing features to the van. Number one, I'm gonna put a hang board right here above the door so I can train, um, just hang from it and, and work on my grip strength. I have a Metolius uh, project board. It's their smaller board. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and then I'm also adding some climbing holds as the pieces for my cabinet doors and drawers. That's how I'm gonna open my cabinet doors and drawers. So I'm gonna attach those on. I'll walk you through kind of what I have and what I'm doing. And then we'll do a time lapse to show you kind of that whole process quickly. Here we go. So here are my climbing holds. They're from Atomic. That's Atomic with a K. Um, Atomic climbing holds, they did a great job. They're really price effective and they came really quickly. So if you're looking for climbing holds, check out Atomic climbing holds. So I'm gonna put some of these on the drawers upside down so you can pull them out. I'm gonna attach some on the cabinets right side up so I can pull those and open them up. And then I've got some larger ones that I'm gonna use on the refrigerator just because it's a little heavier and I wanna make sure you get a good grip there. I'm gonna attach them using just these bolts. They're just hex topped bolts. They're gold because they look a little nicer to match. Um, and then I'm just putting a nut on the back. That'll require a pilot hole and then just push the bolt through the hole and tighten the nut on the back. The first step is to put this um, climbing hold where I'd like to like it to be centered. And then I draw a little circle where so I can see where to put the pilot hole. I'll also have to take this screw out, but that's okay because this bolt will hold this piece on, which is what this screw is doing anyway. So I'm gonna use a 3 8 bit because the screws I'm using are 5 16 so I'm going one size above that, and then I can put the bolt through and through the put the nut on the other side. All right, got a hole, goes all the way through. So now I can put the bolt through. All right, should look just like that. I just need to tighten up the screw on the inside. So it's a little loose, can't just finger tighten it. I'm gonna have to grab my tools and tighten it down with a wrench. So this is gonna sit right here, and then I'm gonna tighten it down from the outside. All right, it's on there really well, can't move it. Um, I would not suggest hanging from it, that's more because the, the hinges would probably rip out, um, but it is, good for opening the cupboard and closing it. Hooray! All right, so this one's on. It's working. It's great. Um, so now I need to add in the other three cupboards on this side. There's another four cupboards above the sink, and then there's four drawers that need pullouts, and then I also need to put two on my fridge. So I'm going to do that in fast motion. Here it comes. Okay, so here's my Metolius. It's a project board. It's their smaller board. It's going to be mounted on this 2x8, which will be mounted above the door, and I'll show you what it'll be mounted on above the door. So here's where I'm going to have my hang board. It's going to be mounted in three places. It's going to be mounted to these 2x4s at the top. It'll be mounted in the middle with rib nuts, and it'll be mounted to this 2x2 two two at the bottom. The 2x4 at the top is attached using these wing tips um, screws. They go through the wood and through the metal. I'll explain that a little more in just a second. Um, this other side, it's not attached yet. I'll show you what that looks like attaching it. Um, but it's going to be using those same wingtip screws. This bottom board is attached with these same riv nuts that are up here. You can see them from underneath. There are five riv nuts on the bottom. And then I've got four riv nuts spread out across the middle section. 
It's just this little tiny ring that you put into the metal and then you pinch it back using a rib nut tool and that holds up a screw um, so you can mount things to it. And that's exactly what I used on the underneath. That's how these are mounted. And then the, the board will actually be mounted with that as well. So it's gonna have a lot of things supporting it in a lot of ways because it has to hold up my whole weight. I attached using these um, wing tipped Phillips metal screws. So I, I think you can see those, those little wings right before the tip of the screw. And that's so that when it drills through the wood, it creates a hole that's big enough that the teeth don't grab. The actual screw part doesn't grab. So whenever I'm hitting the metal and it's spinning, it's not trying to grab the wood. It's just spinning it as much as it needs to. And then the head is what actually holds it in place. Um, and that's what I do for these three spots on the bottom of this piece of wood. That's because this piece of metal behind it is pretty thick because it's got this layer from the rib um, or from this rib, depending on where, and then it's got a layer behind it. So it's a little thicker metal, so it holds better with a metal screw than a lot of the other metal in the van. So the next important piece is lipstick. I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna put this screw through the piece of wood and then into the rib nut. The problem is, I don't know where the rib nut is once I put the piece of wood against the wall. So that's where lipstick comes in. You paint the lipstick on here, you press the board up against these spots, and then you have little markings where all of your rib nuts need to go. So I have learned, if you're gonna use the lipstick trick, then you need to make sure you put it on the actual um, screw, not on the um, rib nut itself. If you put it on the lip of the rib nut, sometimes the wood doesn't actually touch it. And if you put it on the screw, you can adjust the screw. You can pull the screw out a little ways and then the wood can definitely touch it. So just a little hint. So I don't know if you noticed or can tell, but I only got three of the screws in. The fourth one messed up. The uh, rib nut spun within the hole, so I had to tear the whole thing out. So instead I'm just gonna have three uh, rib nuts holding this main board up. And it works fine though because the board fits perfectly right in the middle. So just to fill you in on why that happened. So I've got it hung. I've got the door open so I can test it out. It's the last step. Let's do it. Perfect. Oh, I gotta work on my training because I can't hang here very long. Thanks for watching. I'm glad I got in. Go like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.